If you've had to work with SSIS for more than a day or so and had to work with the data flow task, you have no doubt gotten into some of the validation warnings, the error messages about converting between this data type or that data type or data conversion errors. It doesn't take long working with SSIS before you quickly start going, what? I don't get it. How does this all fit together? I don't understand. And then you get weird error messages that are incomplete and you don't know what to do with them. And the case in point, I have a package here. It's immaterial what it does. It loads Excel into SQL Server, but it has the ubiquitous red circle with the white X on it. Okay, and if you take a look at the error message here, you can see we're getting an error message about a conversion. Okay, so the employee ID can't be so inverted because of conversion. Let me scroll back over and I got to put my cursor right there so I get it. Sorry about that. But here's the thing you're kind of can't see it, right? There's a little ellipsis there. And there's no way to expand it. Sure, I can see that the data types are mismatched. Cool. I, I get it. But is employee ID the only column? You know, because that's what it's pointing to right there. Is that the only column that does it, or are there other columns? I kind of guess that because the error message is only about employee ID, that that's what it is, but I don't know. So how you troubleshoot this is deceptively easy. Or not deceptively, well, it is deceptive in that it's missing. Uh, there should be a better way to do this. It should be a more obvious cue slash clue from the designer. But here's all you do. This is it. And you do this for errors. You do it for validation warnings. You know what a validation warning is. That's the, um, the little yellow triangle with the white exclamation. So here, I'll show you um, here. Uh, you know, close your eyes if you're squeamish and you're scared oops, Sorry, of seeing some stuff right here. Um, oops, I need to go back over here. And so don't, again, don't. I'm not going to, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not going through all of this stuff here. This is fast and, you know, footloose and fancy free uh, movement right here because I'm not trying to teach you about what I'm doing right here. My goal is to show you what a validation warning looks like. That's all I'm trying to do. So I know I'm going fast. If you are watching the course right now, um, the very next video in course 158 on learnitfirst.com is about what those data types are and how to do all of this. So b believe me, we're going to cover it. Uh, so don't get uh, too frightened here. Again, going really, really fast. Um, I'm doing it because I'm not trying to show you this. I'm simply trying to show you how to get a validation warning and what I've done. Ah, higher date, dang it. Uh, so let's choose the one and here and there it is okay so that's all I wanted right there you see that's the I said it was a white exclamation but it's clearly a black one uh, this is the warning this is a truncation warning in this particular one and I get it here at the SQL Server destination and I get it both also at the control flow here uh, go to the this is due to um, it not refreshing properly. Just a little bug in the designer here. You can see it still shows that whole that old error about data conversion. But when we move in, we've already solved that one, and it's moved on to a truncation error here. Okay, so not an error, but a truncation warning. So what it's saying is you've got a column, what it says right here after the ellipsis, I can just guess. I think it says something, you've got a column with a length of 255 that's being put into a column that only allows 128 characters. Truncation may occur. It's not, a, it's not an error. It won't bomb out the package by itself, but it is just a warning. But the problem is there's that ellipsis again, and there's no way to expand. I don't know if this is the only column is a uh, copy of F name the only column with that problem or are there others can't tell so here's all you have to do I mean it's ultra simple there's not too much to it view error list is that easy look at them there they all are right there for you every single one of them all the current errors 
in the package are shown right here. So there are four warnings and there is one error. So now I'm just viewing all of them. Okay. And there's really this is really not an error here. This data type is actually um, old. If we close the package and reopen the package, I bet that goes away. Let's see. Yeah, you see how it went away there. So there's little bitty things here and there that, that you have to work with. But that's it. You just go view error list. I don't know why that's so hard.